Bonjour, madame or mademoiselle. Oui, my name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I definitely can't do a French accent. But the reason I'm attempting a French accent is because we went to a very expensive French bakery earlier to uh, get my baguette for my cheat meal. Uh, so I show you guys like the lean meat, the rice, the cauliflower, the beans. That's what I eat most of the time. But I would say maybe one or two meals a week, worst one or two days. I do deviate. I still stick to foods I know are okay for my liver. Like last week I made burgers with organic buns and I had some organic tater tots. Not the best. Small amount of chemicals and seed oils. This week it might be the healthiest deli sandwich chip meal that has ever been had by, you know, a normal person. I mean, I'm not some Amish farm guy making everything from scratch myself. Then again, the Amish don't have deli slicers, so I don't think they can technically have a deli sandwich. Anyway, let me show you guys what I got today. It's okay, so this is the meal, and I promise to stop. <laughs> uh, so I believe the baker is called Miu Fi or something. They have a location on the Upper West Side, uh, West Village, and Brooklyn. Now, although this is an organic baguette, and you know Whole Foods does have like organic sourdough bread, but this is much more suitable for a sandwich. I still think they use uh, fluoridated tap water to make the bread, at least I'm assuming. So I would be really interested to compare how I feel eating my own homemade bread with like bottled water versus this, but uh, that's a little bit more work. So we have that baguette, I'm assuming since it's a French baguette, it's only flour, water, yeast, and salt. That's what they're allowed to use. We'll put a little bit of mustard and oil on it, kind of like a makeshift vinaigrette. We have some roast beef from Frankie's Strings Meat. This is actually the last package of roast beef we had, so we kind of avoided a catastrophe. You guys have been buying it all. And I ordered a uh, new brand of chips online because I really wanted uh, vinegar, salt and vinegar potato chips. And you know, the ingredient list on this, it's not great. It's not the end of the world. The point is, I don't feel too horrible eating this for maybe you know one or two meals out of the week. So. Organic, farmer-owned, Spud Love, sea salt and vinegar. I kind of approve of these as well as the plain ones, but uh, definitely not something to have every day. Now, I will say, this was $3.75 at the bakery, but for the quality, I'm happy to pay that. Even like the end is very soft, it's perfect, it's delicious. But it gets really thin, so I like portioning it and then cutting down the, the smaller segments. Ironically, my mustard is French too. I don't think people really like the French because there is a stereotype that the French think they're better than everyone else. Now, if I was a little less lazy, I'd make a vinaigrette. I'd do lemon juice, oil, mustard, shake it up, maybe even put a little bit of butter lettuce on this, but we're just keeping it simple. So it's Thursday now. This roast beef was all kind of sold on Monday, so there's a little bit of oxidation on this in the package. You could tell by the soft texture of the inside, it's not well done at all. And you know, this is the downside of not using nitrates or chemicals in the roast beef. It's, it's not gonna maintain the appearance that people are used to, but it's gonna taste 10 times better and be way healthier for you. So we basically have four tiny roast beef sandwiches. Now I know some of you guys saw my day of eating last week and I was switching things up because I wasn't sleeping well and I was trying to figure out what it was, possibly calcium, but <laughs> After really putting my mind to it and trying to figure out what could possibly make me not sleep so horribly, what is it? I interacted with some of the uh, not so uh, savory New York City girls and they were probably jabbed. And, and that, was, that was the interaction that I could think maybe I got something from them that, that gave me sleeping issues. And uh, I was actually really, really sick more than I have ever been uh, recently in the past few days when I stopped the water kefir because this probiotic is, is like a defense system. If you ingest something or get something that's gonna make you sick, the probiotics, the living bacteria, will actually filter it out through your stomach. I remember the first time I did the burger reviews, I was so sick, and then when I had the water kefir the next time around, I was fine. Now, uh, one of my lovely viewers reminded me to Refrigerate this and it's not going to explode everywhere. The carbonation isn't going to be as bad, but uh, it still might be a little high. The, the carbonation in this isn't that high, but for some reason this, um, this cap was really hard to turn. 
so I don't think I can get it off in time. So just to play it safe, we're in the sink. But if you did that when this wasn't really cold and refrigerated, it would have just exploded. It wouldn't have even done that. So this is more of like a, a slightly controlled carbonation release. You know, we didn't actually waste any water kefir. So after you guys get this in the mail, definitely put it in the fridge for like at least 12 hours before you open it up. And even if it's super carbonated like this, it won't explode everywhere. You can still open it safely. So baguette from bakery on the Upper West Side. We got some potato chips. These are from, as much as I hate to say it, I found them on Amazon. Water kefir, courtesy of Frankie's freerangefoods.com. Roast beef, courtesy of Frankie's freerangemeat.com. We got some water kefir grains here as well, and I'll show you guys the masticum when we go to, uh, to do it. We got something a little different today for the masticum. I think I forgot to put the oil on it. It tastes a little better with the oil. Now it's a lot easier to demonstrate than to explain this because if you go to any deli, you get like an Italian sandwich, bag of chips and eat it, compared to how you feel eating this, <laughs> it's like night and day. Night and day difference, so. Water kefir, very tasty, very delicious. I have the pineapple here. When it's really carbonated and cold, it's perfect, it's amazing, it's better than soda. I'm usually lazy, so I leave the lids off, they're not carbonated, I'm drinking at room temperature, so it tastes more like warm beer when I drink it, usually, but this is excellent. Just keep it in the fridge, sealed up nice. I put the price a little lower, guys, because we did have, um, we did have a little excess inventory on the water kefir, so if you guys want a nice little deal now, uh, Now's the time. Now the main reason I wanted to stop drinking this water kefir was because it's so good. I drink too much of it. And you know, if I drink this much liquid before bed, I'm gonna have to use the bathroom like four times. So I'm about halfway through what I think I'm gonna eat. Now, here I bought uh, another spice grinder, coffee grinder. These are like 20, $25. I put the master gum in this, blitzed it up. Very easy, five seconds. And you have a very fine, mastic powder so this is much more effective for the gut than just having the pebbles some of you guys are saying you were using capsules but the problem with the capsules is you know usually h pylori if your stomach isn't acidic enough the capsules aren't going to open and that's where you want this to be so the most effective way to take this masticum is going to be like this so you have a teaspoon here Obviously, very dry powder, but not that much taste. And what I also do, which we've been sold out for a little while now on Frankie's Strange Foods, is I take a bit of the water kefir grains. I mean, honestly, everything here is so hard to make from scratch. It's no wonder people don't eat healthy. To make potato chips with the fryer, you have to slice them really thin. And the baguette baking bread is a two day ordeal. Making the water kefir is a one week ordeal. It's a lot of work goes into the, these foods. I really didn't think I was that hungry, but I ate like that whole baguette and roast beef and I even ate the whole bag of chips. So I'm completely blasted on the water kefir. But guys, it is some nasty Colombian girl DMs me on Instagram and then just everything becomes a blur and I'm in her apartment 45 minutes later. I don't know what type of nanotechnology was in her saliva, but point is I haven't slept in like two weeks and I'm losing my absolute mind. So nothing diet wise has changed. Everything's pretty consistent, but um, I think the uh, global leader trying to steal my creativity. So uh, that's not going to happen though. So Thank you guys for joining me today. You guys can go to frank to check out all of my businesses, including Frankie's Syringe Meat, as we said, the roast beef, Frankie's Syringe Foods, the water kefir, water kefir grains, and a whole bunch of other interesting products on there as well, guys. So be sure to check it out.
although I am wearing my Wi-Fi shielding sweatshirt and joggers, maybe if I was wearing my Wi-Fi shielding headnet, you know, the government would not have been able to zap me with beams in order to get me to go in my car and do those deeds. So, you know, buy, buy the headnet as well, guys. Make sure you stay in the bed canopy as much as possible and you'll have your head screwed on straight. So, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow. I wonder what my CIA agent's name is.